effectively prove his guilt. I feel this trial will be over very shortly, and uh, you will all agree that he is quite obviously guilty. Thank you, Your Honor. Thank you, Mr. Prosecutor. Mr. Defense Man. Thank you, Your Honor. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen of the jury, my client, Mr. James McMahon, is not guilty. My client, Mr. James McMahon, can't be guilty. Sure, all the evidence points to my client as being guilty, but he is, in fact, not guilty. At the end of this trial, you will all be saying to yourself, you know what? I I really thought he was guilty, but what do you know? He's not guilty. <laughs> if you were to look up the word guilty in the dictionary, my client's picture would not be there. You know why? Because he's not guilty. Therefore, in summation, although my client may appear to be very, 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 very guilty, he is in fact not guilty. Thank you. Thank you, Captain Defense. <laughs> Thank you. I would like to call Mr. Arthur Bancroft to the stand. Are you going to tell the truth? <laughs> no. Well, Mr. Bancroft, is it true that you were present at the aforementioned robbery? Yes, it is. Let's see. Now, did the robber in question use a gun? Yes, he did. Okay. Now, did you get a chance to would you be able to identify them? Absolutely. It was that man right there. <laughs> <laughs> this man right here, are you absolutely sure, Mr. Bancroft? Absolutely. No further questions, Your Honor. Senor DiPensivo, your witness. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Your Honor. Mr. Bancroft, how, uh, how good is your eyesight, sir? Very good, actually. I used to be a pilot in the Air Force. Ooh, a pilot in the Air Force. Very <laughs> impressive, Mr. Bancroft. So you could probably see what someone looked like from a oh, mile or two miles away then, right? No, that's a bit too far. Oh, that's a bit too far. Well, how <laughs> far away were you from the robbery when it took place? Uh, <coughs> about 30 feet, maybe. About 30 feet, maybe. So let me see if we're on the same wavelength here, sir. <coughs> You're telling me that you can see what someone looks like from 30 feet away? Yourself with the 
A hot loving spoonful of heroin? No. No? How about cocaine? Do you have a powder that sweet little nose of yours? No. No? How about crack? No. Digital meth? No. LSD? No. Ecstasy? No. Marijuana? No. Oh, yes. Once in college. Oh, once in college. So, you're probably confused most of the time then, aren't you? You <laughs> being a pot smoker and all, I'm probably just a big pink brine cream puff. <laughs> Same this whole trip. 